So, you know, Kelly, all that lavender we were just looking at in Carruthers Park, they, they, it likes the rain, you know, a little, yeah. a little soaking. Exactly. Some plants pretty happy with all the rain that we've got since we've started this month. It has been very wet. And moving into this afternoon, we'll be back in some showers. Take a look here. Uh, Portland looks a bit gray, but we are pretty dry to start this morning. Same for Stoller uh, Winery. You can see it is gray up and over the vineyards there. Meadows losing a lot of snow. Overnight, we did see some active thunderstorms out towards Mount Hood. Lincoln City also great to start. There are some showers up north towards Astoria at this point in the morning too. We're seeing temperatures in the 50s for many areas here. Cloudy up and down the valley. We're in the mid to upper 50s on the east sides a bit drier and uh, seeing some sunshine to start this morning with temperatures also in the 50s. So uh, we are clearing out those storms that worked through early this morning. Even yesterday evening we saw some active weather towards the mountains and a line of storms right through the Dallas here now working up towards central Oregon. Still tracking some showers out towards the coast too, so a bit wet to start out of the beaches, but we're pretty dry now in Portland and for the foothills. So our day planner moving forward will stay cloudy this morning. We'll introduce some rain showers back in the mix here, heading into our lunchtime hour and throughout the afternoon. So some unsettled showers that will be spotty in nature and uh, again, working out pretty quickly here. So today do expect a little bit of rainfall heading into our afternoon. Highs today also much cooler, only in the low to mid 60s. So our future cast brings back that rain today, as you can see by the afternoon. Nice big line of some rain showers here working into the valley. We'll keep those showers throughout the evening time. But come Saturday morning, our next low system that's working in from the south will swing in some heavy showers towards the beaches. Those showers then work into the valley as we head towards our afternoon on Saturday. So I do suspect we'll see some heavy pockets of rain going into Saturday afternoon. Also some breezy winds, so it may feel a bit stormy as we go our way into Saturday. Things quiet down by Sunday morning. We'll start out Sunday with some lingering showers, but by the afternoon, a brief dry moment here as high pressure rebuilds for a quick moment on Sunday. So I think we'll see a better second half of the day on Sunday afternoon here, even some sun breaks possible. Going into today, though, still tracking some active weather, mainly for the northeastern corner of Oregon. That's out towards Pendleton. We can see some uh, lightning strikes and thunderstorms out there that may even drop some hail and then again, some heavy downpours. So our overall weather pattern and trend still keeps those unsettled and rainy conditions into our weekend. Here's that upper level trough. It's this big cool patch of air that will allow for systems to work in and bring back the rain that continues into Monday and Tuesday. But by the middle of next week and as we head towards our Father's Day weekend, we still see this ridge building up, which is always nice to see. It blocks systems from coming in and starts to scoot over into the Pacific Northwest come Sunday, which is Father's Day. So a chance we see a dry streak by next weekend. We'll see that rain starting to taper off. It has been so wet this uh, June, so uh, dry streak is uh, what a lot of folks are likely looking for here. So our seven day forecast, we keep things a bit showery into the weekend. The 60s continue much cooler than normal, but by Wednesday and beyond, we'll likely be back in some sunshine. Carly.